So let's start with the MCQs in the chapter probability. The question is if we throw two coins in the air then the probability of getting both tails will be what? So if you throw two coins what are the possible outcomes guys? The possible outcomes are like this head head, head tail, tail head and tail tail. So four possible outcomes are there and you want both tails. So basically one outcome out of four possible outcomes. So the probability is number of favorable outcomes upon total number of possible outcomes. So the answer is 1 by 4 over here. Let's take the next question. If two dice are thrown in air, the probability of getting sum as 5 will be. The first thing is the number of possible outcomes when you throw two dice simultaneously together. The number of possible outcomes when you throw two dice simultaneously is 36. Now you want some 5 on them. So how do you actually think in this case? So the smallest possible outcome will be 1 and 4 because the sum over here is 5, right? Now what we can do, there is a pattern actually. We can write 1, 2, 3, 4 over here and in the opposite direction we can write 1, 2, 3, 4. You will see that no other possibility is there which will give you sum as 5. So the probability will be 4 favorable outcomes out of 36 possible outcomes. So the answer is 1 by 9. So I hope it is clear. So let's take the next question. A card is drawn from the set of 52 cards. The probability of getting a black queen. So what are the black cards guys? Spades and clubs. 13 spades are there and 13 clubs are there. So one queen will be in spades and one queen will be in clubs. So the probability of getting a black queen will be two favorable outcomes upon total number of possible outcomes are 52. So the probability is 1 by 26. I hope it is clear. So let's take the next question. What is the probability that a non-leap year selected at random will contain 53 Sundays? Non-leap year. So you see in a non-leap year, how many days are there? 52 weeks are there normally. Okay, in a year, 52 weeks are there, whether it is leap or non-leap. So 52 Sundays are already there, yes or no? So how many days are there? 52 into 7, it will give you 3, 7 to the 14, 7 to the 35, 36. So I'm just showing you, it will give you 364, right? So one day is left, one day extra is left over here. Because the thing for 364 days is fixed. 52 Sundays are fixed. Basically, you have to find the probability for that one extra Sunday so that you get 53 Sundays. Yes or no? Now, this one extra day has to be Sunday. Out of these seven days of a week, out of Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So, what is the probability of getting Sunday out of the seven days of a week? The probability is one out of seven. I hope it is clear. So the probability is 1 out of 7. 1 is to 1 by 7, not is 2 over here. So I hope it is clear. So the next question is the probability of getting a bad egg in a lot of 400 is this. You have to find the number of bad eggs in the lot. Probability of bad egg is given. Bad egg. Eggs. Is 0.0. .0 3, 5, right? You have to find the number of bad eggs. Suppose the number of bad eggs is x. So the probability of getting a bad egg will be what? Number of bad eggs divided by total number of eggs. Total number of eggs is 400 and that is equal to 0 0.035. So we can just cross multiply to get the number of bad eggs. So that is 400 into 0 0.035. You can just simplify to get the answer over here. So just remove the decimal, you'll get 1000. So this will give you 1000. So this is coming out to be equal to 14. So the number of bad eggs in the lot of 400 eggs over here is 14. So that's all we needed to do in MCQs in the chapter probability.